issues. And I think it's important because black need to learn how to be bosses and be strong. So this is where the brothers come together. So if you respect black men or you are a black man, then go subscribe to the Black Boss channel. Hit the thumbs up button also. Whatever platform you're watching on, we're, we're broadcasting from multiple platforms. Please hit the thumbs up button. Um, so let's just be clear, though. Michael Jordan has done some good in the black community. Somebody mentioned a second ago that uh, that he he built some free clinics in the black community, and 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 nobody's criticizing him for that. There was a time, maybe a decade or so ago or more, where you could legitimately criticize Michael Jordan for his lack of political involvement with the black community. He he had kind of run away and you know just sort of got become extremely apolitical to the point where it became annoying for a lot of people. But Jordan has has turned the tide. He's gone with the trend because the world has become blacker. Michael Jordan has participated in some of that, which I commend him for that. It, there, no criticism called for here at all. But one of the things I think is really important, though, is to remember that the black community is not just a charity case. Um, if you're talking about empowering a community, you don't empower a community with charity. You empower a community with investment, meaningful, relevant investment. So here's an example. Here's something that they can do tomorrow. And anybody who's watching from that, that organization that wants my help, I'll help you for free. You ain't got, I don't, I don't I don't need charity. I don't need you to write me a check. I know how to make money. I've got I've made a lot of money with millions of dollars through investments and everything else. I don't need your money. I'll get on the phone with you for free to help you set this up. Just give me the resources to to implement the process. Here's one thing you could do that would have an, a, an immediate benefit within a year. Go to every hood in America where all those black boys are wearing your sneakers and all those little girls are growing up and becoming babies, mamas, or whatever Whatever some of the girls are doing. Some of them are doing good things, some not, right? And set up uh, economic training camps where you can have another million black kids every year learning how to start businesses. And then fund those training camps with tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars of investment capital or low interest loans that would allow these young people to go and start their businesses. If we have anything in the black community, we've got an oversupply of hardcore hustlers. I heard just yesterday from my boy down in New Orleans called the Wall Street Trapper. And the Wall Street Trapper, if anything, he's an expert at hustlenomics, at hustleology. He knows how to hustle, and he knows a whole lot of hustlers. If there are hustlers in this room, I'm sure. Raise your hand if you're one of them. So we got a lot of hustlers who don't have the capital to fully pursue their passionate hustle. They want to hustle. They want to hustle to the future, but they can't because they got to go work for 